hey everyone welcome back to my channel i hope you're all doing really well today's video is a second hand haul video since reducing my spending and shopping habits with fast fashion and online shopping and all that sort of thing i have turned to secondhand shopping instead and i'm really really enjoying it and i found myself shopping secondhand clothing in particular and i feel like i've got some real gems this is my first video sort of focused around secondhand so if that's something you want to see me do more of on my channel then please give this video a thumbs up that way i know that you enjoy the video and you want to see more videos like this but it also helps boost my video for the YouTube algorithm as well which then helps this video grow and helps my channel grow as well and helps me continue to film and create content for you to watch for free so please do thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel if you are not already subscribed. So I thought I would share with you some of my best secondhand purchases so far this year. So let's start off with the purchase that sort of started this whole secondhand shopping for me and that was this cardigan. So this is a Suzanne cardigan. This is their very popular Gaspard cardigan. It's beautiful. It retails for £95. It's often in and out of stock. It does typically sell out in the more popular sizes and the more popular colours as well, but it is something that Suzanne stocks fairly frequently on their website. But I decided to have a browse secondhand and admittedly a lot of the Suzanne cardigans and Suzanne clothing in general actually is quite expensive, even secondhand hand so when I spotted this one I couldn't resist now I have to say it's not in like pristine condition or anything like that it's definitely been worn and loved but I've also found myself wearing this quite a few times since purchasing actually and loving it just the same I managed to nab this for £29 plus postage on eBay which in my opinion is great I saw many many other cardigans up for sale both on eBay and vintage for much higher higher price points so I was very happy with this one like I said it is a used cardigan but I personally am very happy with it I got this in a size extra small based on the sizing from the Cezanne website and I don't know if it's the fact that maybe this has been washed a few times so it could have shrunk a little bit maybe but I do think sizing wise I would have been much better off with either a small or a medium just for a bit more of like an oversized fit but with that said I absolutely love this. I have worn it quite a lot. It's popped up on my Instagram quite a few times and I do really love it. It's probably one of my best purchases to date. As I mentioned, I bought this for £29 plus postage and this typically retails on the Cezanne website for £95. I have to say there are a few brands that I search for mostly secondhand and they are typically the more expensive brands. So that's brands like Realization Par, Cezanne, Rixo is very high on my list. Gani as well. The sort of brands that I wouldn't say I would typically purchase at full price. I do try to find them secondhand because they are more inexpensive and therefore more affordable and I still think that you can find a real good supply of their products secondhand and this dress is one of those. This was very popular I want to say like three or four years ago maybe but I don't really care too much about passing trends. I'm very happy to wear something that is three, four, five, six, Six years old, seasons old as well. I'm, I'm not too fussed about it. So as I said, this is a dress from Realization Part. This is called the Alexandra dress and it is in the navy star print. This is still available on the Realization Part website so you can still purchase it now. The retail price of this dress is £190 and I got this on eBay for £28.45. I won this on a bid in an auction on eBay. It was actually my first eBay auction as well. I've always found it so daunting but once I get the hang of it I've actually won quite a few things on auction at very good prices but I'm so happy with this. It is super cute. It's in the navy star print. They also do a red star print as well which I see pop up a lot secondhand actually. I find the navy is slightly rarer to see but the red version 
honestly it comes up probably like once a week but I absolutely love it it is a long sleeve mini dress with ruffle detailing all along the dress the top part and also the skirt as well it's just very beautiful in my opinion I bought this in a size extra small which fits me wonderfully one thing that does always scare me about shopping secondhand is when I'm buying from brands that I've never tried before I'm always cautious about sizing not being quite right and I have had a few blunders with some things that I have bought secondhand and then the sizing just hasn't really worked out for me but luckily this one did work out an extra small is the perfect size for me it fits so beautifully my next secondhand purchase also came from eBay and this is an and other stories wool cardigan I was very happy to find this cardigan actually and I remember it's being available in this color and also in black I was tempted by the black as well however as I purchased the Cezanne cardigan I didn't feel like I needed another cardigan so soon so I ended up just purchasing this beige or cream colored cardigan like I said it's a wool blend so it was a really great one for the winter time I wore it quite a lot I'm pretty sure I wore it in that video where I did my wardrobe switchover so from my autumn and winter wardrobe into my spring and summer wardrobe I was wearing this cardigan in that video and I've worn it quite a lot since then because we really really haven't had much of spring yet here in the UK so I've been getting a lot of wear out of this cardigan but I think and other stories is another brand that's a really nice one to buy secondhand because their quality of their clothing generally is pretty good and so you can find it secondhand for a more affordable price I feel like there's a lot of and other stories out there because it's a somewhat premium high street brand I want to say they do have some more affordable items but a lot of their items are also on the slightly pricier side so finding a piece secondhand is always a good pleasant surprise and I am very happy with this cardigan for this cardigan I paid 19 pounds plus postage and this would have retailed at 75 pounds so another very good saving next up we have a pair of jeans these are Levi ribcage straight jeans which are possibly my favorite jeans right now I have a pair that I bought new I bought them via Amazon so they were around the 50 pound mark but honestly you need to buy Levi jeans second hands because there is so much out there there are so many Levi jeans available whether they be secondhand or whether they be vintage there is just so much out there to the point where I think if you are buying Levi new from like Levi stores they retail at 110 pounds which is very pricey for jeans now don't get me wrong the quality is excellent and I would always recommend a pair of Levi jeans but there are so many Levi jeans already out there whether it be on eBay or vintage or charity shops vintage shops Levi jeans there is an abundance of them out there already and you don't need to be spending a hundred pounds plus for them so I ended up getting a light wash blue pair I have a dark wash blue which is what started my love for these jeans and I really wanted a lighter pair for the summer these are a waist 25 length 29 I'm very happy with them they do have like a little bit of stains on the back which the seller did have in the description so I was very much aware of this and honestly it doesn't bother me it's on the back of the jeans for starters so I really like I don't really see it so I don't care if anybody else sees it really and it's really faded it almost looks like it's part of the jeans kind of if that makes sense so that isn't something that bothered me but because of that I did get them at quite a heavily discounted price so I ended up paying 16 pounds for these plus postage which is so much better than their retail price of 110 pounds then moving on to a very spring piece this is a pink linen blazer from and other stories and it's actually a funny story when it comes to this blazer because I initially spotted it on eBay so I sent an offer to the seller which the seller subsequently accepted but in the meantime I had a bit of a browse on Vinted and I spotted the exact same blazer on Vinted with the same photos from the eBay listing so I just thought that it would have been the same seller who was selling both on eBay and on Vinted. I noticed that on Vinted the blazer was cheaper and I think the reason for that is that the Vinted fees are paid by the buyer as opposed to paid by the seller which is what they do on eBay so because I spotted it cheaper and I had a suspicion that this was the same seller I actually messaged before buying 
via eBay and I asked if they would consider selling me it on Vinted instead so that it would be slightly cheaper for me and they were totally accepting of it. They said, yep, yeah, that's absolutely fine, no problems at all. So I went ahead and purchased this blazer on Vinted instead. I ended up buying this for £18 and I paid a £1.60 fee which is like the Vinted fee and then I also paid postage which was, I believe it's usually like £2.89 or something like that and in the end it still came out cheaper than if I were to have bought it on eBay so I was really happy with this purchase and it just goes to show it's always worth looking at both eBay and Vinted because a lot of people do sell the items on both platforms and sometimes you'll find that they are a little bit cheaper on Vinted because you're the person paying the fees so just a little something to bear in mind but I was really happy with this it's brand new with tags I have actually worn this in a real video on my channel already but I wanted to keep the tags on to show you in this video that it was completely brand new in amazing quality it's not a current stock item however I did some browsing and I found this on ASOS and it was originally £165 it did go into the sale where it went down to £77 but I got this for £18 which was such a good bargain next up a bodysuit from Misguided this is the cheapest thing I have bought secondhand and ever so this cost one pound I bought this on vintage so I did have to pay the vintage fee on top of that and then postage as well so in total I paid under five pounds for this which is kind of crazy so this is a misguided bodysuit and honestly I know it's not going to look like much I know it's not going to look like anything special however I used to have this bodysuit years and years ago but it got a bit tatty and I just ended up getting rid of it but I genuinely think about this bodysuit so often. I'm always like, oh, I wish I still had that white bodysuit. And then I thought, Do you know what? Let me have a search on Vinted for it. And lo and behold, I found the bodysuit on Vinted. And when I saw it was only a pound as well, I thought, why not? So I purchased it. I got it in a size eight. Usually I would go for 10 in bodysuits just so that they're a bit more comfortable. But in this case I don't really mind it's in okay condition obviously it's not brand new I know it's probably been something that's been well used and well loved but I am just so happy to be reunited with it I do think it could do with being like a little bit whiter maybe to like just get some of that color back but it's nothing that a wash with some vanish hopefully should fix but I'm just really happy to be reunited with this so if you have any sort of situations like that where it's something that you had years and years ago and you want it back have a search have a search on eBay or Vinted and you never know you might find it. My next purchase is probably the one I was most excited about. It's leopard print and I think by the print you may be able to guess the brand. It's a gorgeous Ganny dress. Now this is the Ganny Georgette dress which I don't think you can get anymore. At least I wasn't able to find any active listings of this being sold currently. I did find sort of the Selfridges page for it but it's no longer available so it didn't even have photos or anything like that. But this is a piece that honestly has been on my wish list for such a long time. I actually have a very similar version to this dress which was actually a dupe from New Look. It's a really affordable one. I'm sure you've seen me wear it quite a few times, but it's essentially a dupe of this Ganny dress. So when I saw the dress pop up on Vinted one day in my many Vinted searches, I decided to send the seller an offer. So this dress was initially listed at £52 and I sent an offer for £42. So £10 less and obviously it could have gone one of two ways. Luckily for me, the seller accepted. It really like exceeded all expectations, I have to be honest. It's just beautiful, it's gorgeous material. It's my first ever piece from Ganny as well, which I am really happy about. I'm very happy to have found something that I know I will wear and love a lot secondhand. I got this dress in a size 32, which I think is somewhere between a size UK 4 and a size UK 6. And I did a little bit of research on this dress before purchasing and essentially lots of people say you can go larger or smaller with sizing because it's really billowy it doesn't really have any sort of structure to it or anything like that so typically you can go up or go down sizes and you should be fine with this one luckily this one fits really beautifully it's definitely got that more like billowy a-line silhouette so I actually tried this on the other day and I ended up belting it which I really loved the look of that it was just a bit more cinched in at the waist and a bit more feminine but I'm so happy with this one I can't wait to wear it it's good for weather 
like we have at the moment. It will also be great in the autumn time, great for the winter. It's just easily my favorite secondhand purchase to date. And finally, onto my most recent clothing purchase. This I ordered on Vinted, and it is one of the Zara racer neck bodysuits. These are so popular. They have been for about two years now, I want to say, and I really didn't want to buy one brand new because admittedly I don't shop on Zara, new in Zara anyway, I really haven't been shopping for years and years now, so I didn't want to really break that, and also there's just a lot of Zara available secondhand, it's probably one of the brands that you will see the most in secondhand shops on eBay and on Vinted as well, so I decided to have a browse on Vinted and I saw that this one came up, I was initially looking for a black one, but I couldn't find one in black at a price I wanted to pay, so when I spotted this khaki version I thought actually this is quite a nice change from black so I decided to go for this one this cost me three pounds plus the vintage fees I actually got free postage with this one because I think it was a new seller and when you're a new seller on vintage they sort of give you an, an offer where you can give free postage basically so I got postage for free with this one so it ended up being around four pounds under five pounds for sure which is definitely cheaper than were I to buy this brand new from the shop. They have some new ones this season that are currently retailing for £17.99. So I was very happy with this. It's in fairly decent quality. It's all right. It definitely has a few signs of wear. A few more than I expected, if I'm being honest, because it did say condition as very good. And I would only say good. It's got a little bit of pulling and things where I imagine there could have been like a belt around here or something like that. So there's a slight bit of pulling, but I did only pay £3 for this. So I'm not that fussed. Lastly, I wanted to to share some of my charity shop finds with you and something that I very often buy in charity shops are books. I think I've been buying my books secondhand from charity shops for years now, a really long time. I very rarely will buy a book brand new, only really if they're gifted to me it will be a brand new book. So these are a few of the books that I bought recently. This is The Paper Palace. I bought this for £1.75. I also purchased Half a World Away and this was really high on my wish list so I ended up spending a little bit more than I would typically spend on a paperback. So this cost £2.99. Usually I would spend up to £2 on a paperback so this was a little bit more but I was dying to read this and I really did enjoy it. I also purchased and have read Such a Fun Age. This cost me £2. The Wife Between Us. This cost 99p. Then I also purchased Sorrow and Bliss and this was £1.75. And then finally American Dirt which cost £2. So like I said for me a sort of general rule when it comes to books for paperbacks I don't want to spend more than two pounds and when it comes to hardback I would say four pounds is my max. The last secondhand purchase I wanted to share with you is a game. I really do enjoy looking at games and books in charity shops. I always think you're likely to find some really really good gems and this was one of them. I bought Quirkle for two pounds 49. This was a game that I'd seen quite a few people posting on social media so it was definitely on my radar but games can be quite expensive to purchase brand new so I wasn't going to buy it new but when I spotted it in a charity shop I was thrilled and I instantly picked it up. We've already played it a couple of times and it really is a great game. And those are some of my second hand purchases so far this year. A little bit of a mix there. I know that probably most of you are most excited to see the fashion and the clothing items but I will be honest I'm still very new to shopping second hand clothing. I definitely favour eBay and vintage just because I feel like it's easier for when you have to search for your sizing and the items you want you can search for exactly what you want and filter to see what suits you whereas in charity shops I sometimes find it quite overwhelming to sort of go through everything in the shop to see if there's something available in your size or if it's something you actually really want so typically for me when I go to a physical charity shop I often look at books and games and other things like that that don't really require trying on or sizing or anything like that and when it comes to shopping secondhand online I like to look mostly for clothing and in particular brands that are a little bit more expensive in the hope that I can save myself some money by shopping secondhand.
hand. I really hope that you enjoyed today's video. If you did, then please give it a thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe to my channel as well. If you're not already subscribed, I would absolutely love for you to subscribe and that way you stay up to date with my upcoming uploads, including lots of fashion and styling content. So if that's your kind of thing, make sure you do subscribe. A very big thank you for watching today's video and I will see you all soon. Bye.